Adolf Hitler. Fascist dictator in the country Germany and European occupiers mainland during World War II. Some people think that it is necessary to hide from children do not know the story of a vicious monster like Adolf Hitler. It is sometimes said that writing about such people glorifies demons and makes them want to emulate them. But Adolf Hitler was a real person. We cannot change history. If we close our eyes and refuse to look at his actual actions, it does not mean that we can eliminate them. Instead, it's better to understand his background. Even though it was a horror story, understanding the past can help us stay awake. Whenever such a person wants to be our leader, we can immediately know the reasons for it. Knowing the ambition, greed, and power of that person, knowing the face of the villain, knowing the monster face can enable us to prepare in advance to protect the world against its atrocities. When he came to power, Hitler proudly declared that it will build a new empire for Germany that could last 1,000 years. Hitler once boasted that the German people, the great race, would be extremely happy. They would rule the world. And if any of the people dare to block the path to prosperity as he sees it, the people will be punished, most will be destroyed and the survivors will be enslaved by the people of loyal Germans. Hitler almost did what he promised, he almost dominated. Occupy the world. At one point, Hitler almost succeeded. In the fight between demons and good deeds of Hitler. Win, our world will become a real hell. Hitler was born in Austria, near the German border. Father Alois was 52 year old, wife named Clara just 29 years old, who looks more like a daughter than his wife. In fact, before marriage, Alois was the adoptive father of Clara. This couple three children die since childhood. Where Hitler is the fourth child. Hitler was alive, he was also get attention especially from the odd one out is the mother. When angry father finds out about threats Hitler. The mother dancer, is always there to protect her children. The mother turned Hitler into a abuse. What Hitler want, the mother finds it immediately. Thus, Adolf Hitler, whose parents briefly called him ADI, became his mother's favorite son. At school, one of Hitler's teachers observed that Heather was a wise and well-mannered student, but by the time he was 11, his younger brother, Atman, had died of measles. Since then, Hitler's character has changed. Hitler may have wished for the death of four of his younger siblings, and he blamed himself. Angry. Hitler often yells at friends and teachers. Adolf Hitler attended the church school for two years and sang in the school choir. Hitler dreamed of becoming a Christian priest one day, but despite his wisdom he did not learn well, and even his favorite subjects, such as history, geography, and painting, scored. Below average, Hitler is considered a difficult student to discipline, irritable, angry, arrogant, and lazy. Hitler did not study herd beside he liked to look at picture books about wars and play war game with his classmates. When he plays those games Hitler always demanded to act as their leader. In January 1903, when Hitler was 13 years old, his father died. It is true that Hitler hated and feared his father, but also respected his father. For the next three years, or until the age of 16, Hitler continued to study, hoping to become an artist. But Hitler fell ill with pneumonia and could not go to school because he had to rest and get healthy again. At that time, Hitler had officially graduated. Three years later, from the age of 16 to 19, Hitler always remembered that this was the happiest time of my life. At that time, Hitler, who lived in Linz, Austria, thought only of walking the streets and in the suburbs. At the library, he enjoys reading history books. At night, go to the opera. According to a close friend at the time, Heather did not sleep at night, often walking under the stars and imagining that one day he would become an artist or an architect or a great protector. Of the Germans. One villager said he had seen Hitler make statements to the trees alone. 
Even though his mother raised him from her widow's allowance, Hitler refused to work hard. In the morning he sleeps in bed waiting for the mother to serve from desk until late at night, but always read a book or go out. Until he became the Germany's chancellor. Then he able to work normally like other government officials. In 1907, his mother died of cancer. A long time later, Hitler wrote, that was the worst event of all. Hitler's mother, who was in critical condition, recalled that, the doctor who started working as a doctor said that she had never seen anyone suffer as much as Hitler. 19 years old, no high school diploma, no business, no heater, living in poverty in Vienna, Austrian capital. In order to buy food and pay rent for a house, Hitler works from time to time, sometimes clearing the ice from his house, sometimes for a long time at the train station, or sometimes for the most embarrassing job that he should consider working as a construction worker. Sometimes to stay in a cheap room, sometimes to a place of alms, sometimes for weeks he did not bathe or shave at all. Clothes often have bed bugs or lice on them. But Hitler, unlike other homeless people in Vienna, did not smoke or drink. 5-6-2877 He always spends time in the library reading books on tranquility, yoga, eastern religions, history, and especially reading political books. Most of the time he sits at a coffee shop talking about politics and sometimes waving at those who disagree with him. Gradually, Hitler also built a faith, with reasons derived from reading books confirming that belief. Hitler always rejects any ideas or people who do not agree with his ideas. While living in Vienna, Hitler's ideas grow stronger. From that time till his death, Hitler said he had nothing to learn and there is nothing to change at all. From reading many books he also shares the belief that Austrians and German he believes that the Germans are the dominant race of Germany, rich in people with the highest merits, worthy of the rulers of the world. For other peoples in the Austrian Kingdom who did not speak the language Germans, such as the Czechs, the Slovenians, the Croats, the Serbs, Hitler only had hatred in his hearts. But Hitler hated the Jews the most. History in Europe is full of ideas that hated the Jews. When they were young in the city Vienna Hitler read articles on the violent attacks on Jews in newspapers or leaflets and regularly saw the actual acts of hatred. To Hitler, the Jews represented all the wrong and poisonous things in the world, the Jews wanted equality, democracy, and freedom, and these were all ideas that the Hitler hated. In addition, the Jews wanted freedom of speech, freedom of the press, and freedom of parliamentary elections, all of which were considered by Hitler to be useless. On the other hand, the Jews wanted peace, and complained about promoting war, but Hitler understanding that all life is a struggle. As for Hitler, compassion, kindness, and humanity, it is insane. Hitler believed that only by using violence could the goal be achieved, for the whole of humanity, Hitler had only the deepest insults. Hitler also believes that most people act out of fear or greed for wealth or power, not out of love or compassion. To achieve its goal, Hitler plans to talk not only about. It is a common lie to say great lie which means to say and say over and over again a simple idea, a slogan that can be applied. The only one is the enemy who is responsible for everything that affects the private life of the people. And post. Hitler decided to take the Jews as such enemies, emphasizing and reiterating this issue. Hitler knew very well that by following the successful sales model of the same idea, the idea would be repeated, and that idea would penetrate the listener's mind. If they say a simple word that children can understand, soon almost all people in society will believe what they say. Along with this lie, Hitler also believed in the importance of four. To intimidate people into believing that a cause was right and just. Hitler argues that intimidation is successful almost all the time in explaining individuals and the masses to believe except in the case of simultaneous intimidation from various sources. These are the lessons Hitler learned over the years during the miserable situation in Vienna. 
Later when he became a leader of Germany Hitler had the opportunity to put those ideas into practice. Once. Since then, the world has changed. In the summer of 1914, World War I started. Adolf Hitler enlisted in the German army, apparently for the first time in his life, where he believed he was. In fact, the army seems to be the home of Hitler. No matter what task he has to perform, Heather fulfills it without a word. As messenger, run from place to place in battle. Even under the bullets fired like rain, Hitler was still active in his confinement. Hitler received the Iron Cross Medal, first class. In October 1918, Hitler was exposed to British smoke. While in the hospital, Heather heard the news that the Germans had surrendered. Hitler, as well as thousands of Germans, believed that the army was not defeated, but was stabbed in the back by traitorous politicians pushed by Jews and communists who were willing to accept peace rather than go to war. Hitler, like many others, is waiting for a day to take revenge on the November criminals who gave up this struggle. On the other hand, the war suppressed Hitler to become a strong man and do let him know himself to be a good person. People are incompetent. At the end of the war, the 29-year-old Hitler returned to Munich with no job, no home, no food, never to be satisfied, but he still firmly believed that one day he would become a leader. Germany, of course. Hitler has not yet decided on a permanent job, but Hitler was allowed to live in a barracks in Munich because he knew of Hitler's political ideas and assigned an officer to spy on him. It was this task that brought Hitler to a meeting with a small group called the German Workers' Party. Despite its name, it is, in fact, an organization with strong nationalist and anti-Jewish sentiments. Hitler was tasked with spying on the German Workers' Party, but instead issued a statement against the Jews. Next day he received a letter asking him to join the party. Although Hitler plans to form his own party, he now rejoined the German Workers' Party and became the seventh member of the executive committee. Hitler later recalled that time was the most important decision of my life. Having decided to act in this direction, Hitler immediately ran out of energy to perform various tasks. To recruit more new members, Hitler published newspaper advertisements. Hitler organizes public meeting at crowded beer drinking places. He explained and let the group change its name to German Socialist Workers' Party or Nazi for short. Under Hitler's guidance, the party launched a program that summed up all of its major ideas. This political program is in opposition to the Weissai Agreement, an agreement to end World War I. The program calls on all German-speaking people, including those in Austria and Czechoslovakia, to unite under one flag, and promises to exclude German citizenship from all Jews. In response, the Nazis grew rapidly. As a reward, Hitler asked for full power and gave himself the name Der Führer, German, the leader. Hitler sent a group of fighters on a street named after them and sent them to an offensive Jewish shopkeeper. Get rid of them. And to burn the shop. The red and black and white Nazi flag soon became more prominent in southern Germany, and so did the party's logo. By November 1923, he should have realized that the situation was ripe for a German coup, as Benito Mussolini had already seized power in Italy. However, Hitler's plans failed miserably, Hitler ran to hide at a friend's house, but was caught and later imprisoned. But during the trial, Hitler took the opportunity to express his views, as journalists from all over the world followed. Through this, Hitler Hitler became more and more popular. In Germany itself, Hitler became a hero. The court sentenced him to five years in prison, but Hitler was forced to serve only nine months. He was then taken to the Lenzburg Detention Center, which resembles a hotel rather than a regular prison. They provide a delicious meal and allow regular personal secretary Trottel to visit Hitler regularly. It was while in prison that Hitler wrote a book entitled Men Cam, translated as My Struggle, a book that proves the plan and Hitler's actions whenever he came to power in Germany. 
Hitler was released from prison in 1924. Hitler strives to improve her public speaking habits, as well as the way she dresses and travels. When appearing in public, Hitler strives to be thorough and accurate. From time to time, Hitler is seen smiling occasionally. During the five years from 1924 to 1929, Germany prospered and the people's anger over the war subsided. Members of the Nazi party declined. However, Hitler still believed in himself that one day good fortune would come. In 1929, the Great Depression caused a severe crisis in the United States, then spread to the United States, then to Europe without a loan from the United States. Germany was hit hardest. People from all walks of life were soon taken advantage of, and Hitler went on a nationwide campaign. Finally, in January 1933, members of the opposition asks Hitler to become chancellor although those opposition parties demanding that one party member other than the Nazi party have a majority in the new government, Hitler should clearly understand that when he comes to power, he will know how to play with the opposition. On the night of January 30, 1933, thousands of Berliners in a fit of rage, the Nazi marched in the streets of Berlin, marching on the bustling streets of Berlin. Little did he know that he had become the Chancellor of Germany, one of the most civilized and civilized countries in Europe. After hold power he acted quickly to take control of Germany. First, though the Nazis themselves were the ones who set fire to the parliament building of the Hitler. This fault goes to the enemies of the nation. Hitler seeks power to destroy them. Next through the post-emergencies he takes away German citizens of their rights which is stated in the constitution. From then on, any German citizen could be legally arrested and imprisoned without trial or trial. Step by step, Hitler took over the affairs of the nation. He should carry out brutal attacks on unions and beat or kill union leaders. All political parties except the Nazi party were declared illegal by Hitler. Hitler eliminated freedom of speech and freedom of the press. He let the German people read or listen to only what they want to read or listen to. The Nazi party controlled all radio stations and confiscated any suspected opposition newspapers. Hitler controls the provincial government, courts and schools. Only members loyal to the Nazi party could hold office. On the night of June 30, 1934 Hitler himself is directly involved in the massacre of about 1,000 people, including Hitler's own enemies who lived in poverty in Munich. Hitler never apologized for his atrocities. When he took full power in Germany, Hitler openly declared what he had written in the book Mein Kampf, My struggle cruelty is respected. Cruelty and power. Ordinary people have no respect for anything in addition to the power of anger and compassion. If a nation to become free, it is necessary to be proud and strong. Dare to stand up, there must be hatred, calmness, and hatred. In Germany, the main target of Hitler hatred and atrocities was the Jews. As soon as Hitler came to power, he was approved. Laws forbidding Jews from holding public office, banning radio, film, journalists, teachers, and agriculture, and later the ban extends from legal work doctors and stock exchanges. Pharmacies refused to sell medicine to Jews, and hotels did not allow them to stay in some cities. Thousands of Jews were sent to concentration camps. However, Hitler not yet placed in. Hitler not yet play strong violence on the Jews yet. Now Hitler is waiting and saying that the Jews are my most important hostages. Few Germans dared to speak out against the real Hitler's actions, a large number were satisfied. On the other hand, from 1933 to 1939, the nation flourished and prospered. Unemployment has forced the production of aircraft, tanks, guns, and submarines, the German army has grown rapidly, trails for cars are spreading across the country, and there are people made Volkswagen cars support by Hitler drive on those roads, thousands of workers are grateful to Hitler for having a steady job, even if they are no longer allowed to demonstrate, even if the workers' salaries and hours are decided by the government. On the other hand, 
one of the largest manufacturers of ammunition, Fabian, and Group, was very supportive of the Nazis. Now the manufacturer, they paid less workers and bought more ammunition because Germany was trying to arm the army as quickly as possible. To resist with the chaotic and unstable situation of democracy, a regime that required the people to decide for themselves, Hitler promised the German people that he would restore order and great national honor. The people, on the other hand, only follow the lead role. In fact, the Hitler follow some of their promises. By now, Hitler was ready to show his followers that through one force, one discipline, one rule, one race, one leader, the German people would rule the world. In other words, through the German national anthem at the beginning of the episode, it means, Germany, Germany on top of everyone in the world. Beginning slowly, Hitler implemented his expansion contract. In 1935, the Saab industrial zone merged with Germany. In 1936, Hitler ordered troops to invade the Rhineland and claim German territory, in complete violation of the West Treaty. Later, seeing that the League of Nations was ineffective against the Japanese invaders occupying the Jury territory, the Italians occupying Ethiopia, he decided that the time had come to seize more territory. In March 1938, Terrier ordered German troops to invade his homeland Austria. Thousands of Austrians hailed Hitler as a hero rather than a territorial expansion. Hitler then asked the French and British Prime Ministers to grant him the right to occupy Sudetenland, a West Czechoslovakian territory inhabited by German-speaking people. However, Hitler was still unhappy, and by 1939, he takes all Czechoslovakia territory. On September 1, 1939, Hitler strike on Poland, and only now did Britain and France realize that Hitler was greedy, expanding his territory unsatisfactorily, no matter how willing he was. Also, in 1935, where had been able to resist easily, planes dropped bombs, and Hitler's mobile artillery fired indiscriminately at the brave Poles. Thus, despite Britain and France declaring war on Germany and democracies trying to provide aid, Poland was left in ruins in just a month. The Nazis then invaded Denmark and Norway and captured these two countries easily. Later, German troops quickly advanced through Belgium, the Netherlands, and Luxembourg and forced to crush the French resistance in just six weeks, and now only Britain was able to resist and stand up to Germany. German troops do not bring with them brilliant hopes for freedom, equality, and a better life, like Napoleon, the German army realized that now was the time for the great German to begin destroying the weak race. June 22, 1914, the German army invades Russia, shocking the Russian dictator Stalin, as Stalin had already agreed to form an alliance with Hitler. In a message to the German army. Final destruction the Jewish Bolsheviks, a weak people. Hitler ordered the commander of the German army to always practice violation. On the other hand, in the lands he occupied, Hitler often ordered to solve the problem of the Jews, all Jews. Destroyed without mercy. Hitler first assigned this task to a mobile group called Is it Krippen? Upon entering any village, this mobile group always gathers all the Jews, including women and children, to gather near a large pit. They then fired machine guns, killing all of them. The undead are either finished with a shovel, not to lose a bullet, or buried alive. Hitler have realized that this was too late, and ordered the construction of more than 30 concentration camps, the death camps that existed throughout Europe. Train carriages for transporting animals or items and transporting them to the death camp. At Dachau camp, Treblinka camp, Bergen-Belsen camp, and the deadliest Nazi camp Auschwitz, were not given food or water, when Jews were taken to concentration camps, they were often beaten, tortured, or stoned to death. Oh. To speed up the killings, Hitler asked German industrialists to create smoke-free rooms that could kill 2,000 inmates at a time. Manufacturers have been competing to build the smoke chamber. 
large buildings were built to burn as many bodies as possible and soon to be consumed. But the war gradually began to change, leaving Germany at a disadvantage in battle until the end of 1942, the empire that he considered can last up to 1000 years, began to appear signs of division. The Nazis' campaign to occupy Russia was stalled in front of the entrance to Moscow. In the Pacific, while Japanese planes bombed the port of Pearl Harbor, Hawaii, urging the United States to go to war against the Allies, Germany, Italy, Japan. US troops soon arrived in Africa and began heading north through Italy, while in Russia, Germany suffered another defeat and hundreds of thousands army were killed. June 6, 1944, Allied forces invaded France and began to return the strike to the German border. British and US planes bombed German cities day and night, killing and destroying many areas. So far now, Germany has lost, waiting for the right time. But Hitler still refused to give up. There were some Hitler generals who wanted to assassinate Hitler, but Hitler did not die. Hitler ordered the generals to be hanged and hanged, and he was hanged on a piano and made to shoot more movies. As enemy troops moved nearby and surround him, Hitler health began to suffer. Hitler had to take all kinds of sleeping pills but still could not sleep. His arms trembled and his face twitched. As the detention worsened, Hitler tried to use opium and other drugs a lot. In the last round, at the end of April 1945, it was clear that Germany could not win. Hitler perceived that German people he loves more than his life is just a weak one, unworthy to aid off Hitler. Therefore, if the Germans were to die, there would be nothing left for the invaders to enter. Hitler orders demolition of German factory, hospital demolition, farms, churches, monuments, and all valuables. And he polluted the water. But Germany was not destroyed as his command. Allied forces moved forward quickly, leaving no time Hitler's order to destroy it could not be fulfilled, and some generals no longer obeyed Hitler. On April 30, 1945, when Russian troops invaded, only a few houses remained from his underground headquarters. Hitler sitting with Eva Braun, is the woman he lives with and has a handgun on the table. At that time, Hitler took a picture of his mother, hugged her and swallowed the poison. At Hitler's command, Eva Braun shot Hitler in the head with a shotgun, killing herself by swallowing poison at the same time. Hitler had already ordered that gasoline be poured on him and Eva Braun's bodies and that they be cremated. Hitler predicted that this was done, to prevent the Russians from displaying his body in the same manner as Benito Mussolini in Italy a few days ago. Hitler's life was over, and the 1,000-year empire that Hitler had promised the German people has perished. Hitler raises Germany to supreme power. Hitler himself has most powers. When he spoke, the whole nation is gathered to obey the petition. But unlike other great leaders who have been famous, Hitler passed away or died Germany left with nothing better than when it first appeared in the pages of history. Probably a factor as to why they're doing so poorly. There is no doubt that Hitler. There is no doubt that Hitler's goal in life was to have only one Hitler as the leader of Germany's race over the world. In the end, such a direction is too narrow to succeed. The world is not willing to remain silent, embracing such narrow-minded objectives to achieve success.